Hello, crafty friends. My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And in today's video, we're going to be using the Stitch Die of the Month from Spellbinders to create a quick and easy card with a little surprise inside. I hope you'll stick around, see what I'm going to make, and get a few tips along the way. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Earlier this month, Spellbinders released all of their new clubs, and I do receive three to play with each month. I have already shared the cards that you'll see up on screen now using the quick and easy card kit of the month. In a couple days, I will be sharing a project using their large die of the month. And today, I will be using the stitch die of the month along with the add-on, the pocket full of spring sentiments. This month's Stitch Die of the Month contains 22 dies, and the main one is this pocket that you can fill with all of these flowers. But today, we're going to fill it with a little surprise and make kind of a more masculine birthday card. As I get started on the process, I will be sure to let you know about other products and tools I bring in, but if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! Before I got started, I cut a top fold card base out of some powder blue cardstock, and I'm going to be stamping directly onto the front of this. So to make sure it stays down flat in my misty, I added a little adhesive on the inside and took the tack off with my fingers. I am using my sticky mat that has the grid, and I'm going to place it right with the black border that's printed on there. For the stamp, I am using one that's discontinued that I had in my stash. I think it's called Weathered Wood. I just thought with using the lighter blue ink and then going in with the dark ink, it would give a denim look to that powder blue cardstock. So I inked it up the first round. It doesn't stamp perfectly, even with my presser tool. And then before I do the darker ink, which I don't clean the stamp between since it's darker, I moved my card just a little bit up and to the right using that same line on the grid just to kind of see how much I moved it. Then I inked it up with that darker blue ink and stamped it and now this time I do have some big areas that you can kind of tell didn't get stamped well so I did go back in with my presser tool and with my hands and just gave it a little extra elbow grease and I have to say I was super pleased with how this turned out. Now we're going to do some die cutting with our stitch die of the month. I got out the card base that we just stamped on and another scrap of that same powder blue card stock. I'm going to cut the pocket out of the front of the card base and then I will cut two from the scrap on the left. Now to make sure that the pocket is down low enough so my gift card, which that's the surprise today, will fit inside of the pocket and not go over the top of the card, I did bring that in and then using my scotch removable tape, I taped my die in place so I could go cut that. After I had my three pockets cut, I took the one that had the stamping on it and the stitching detail die from the set and added the stitching holes. Now I do run this back and forth a couple times in my die cutter to help get all of those little bits out. There were a few I had to poke out, but overall not too bad. Now one last die I'm going to use is going to be the one from the add-on that says a gift for you. And I probably could have done some of these dies at the same time, but I just wanted to make sure everything was in a nice place, solid down on its own. 
I decided that I wanted to put some white behind those letters to help them stand out. So I took one of the sentiment strip dies from the set and I cut a scrap of white. Then I'm just going to adhere this right behind there with some liquid glue. And I don't really pay attention to if it goes into the letters because this will dry clear. I put that on the back and then I set a block on it and let it dry for about five minutes. And now it's time to do the stitching, which is what the Stitch Die of the Month Club is all about. I will be using yellow today. I thought that was a nice contrast with that denim stamped background. And I did pre-thread my needle with three of the six strands of floss. Now today to hold my tails in place, I'm using this tear and tape from Spellbinders. It's actually some I got in the card kit of the month, so it's going to come in handy for lots of other projects as well. Once I got my thread started in that first hole, I left about a one inch tail on the back and tore off a little piece of tape to hold that in place. Then I did a very simple back stitch through all of the pre-punched holes. Now I will show you some of this process. If you don't want to watch it, although you could skip forward a minute or so. I got to the end of my string and I almost made it around the entire pocket, but unfortunately I did have to re-thread my needle for those last four or five stitches. So I got that ended and the new one started and here is a close up look at the finished stitched piece. To help keep the gift card from getting caught on the stitches or on the tape on the back of the pocket, I brought in one of the extra pockets that I cut and I'm going to be adhering this to the back. I used a combination of liquid glue and the tear tape that I had placed over the thread. I carefully lined these up together and gave this a little while to dry. While I was off camera, I added some foam tape strips to the back of the pocket that would allow the gift card to slide in there and stop correctly. I did go ahead and put a double layer just so there was enough room to easily slip that inside. Once I pulled the release paper, again I lined up the pocket so I had a nice little stack. And you'll see here the gift card slides in and out nicely and you could actually just use this as is to send a little gift card too. I will still be turning mine into a card, so I brought in the card base that we made earlier and a scrap of white cardstock to put on the inside just to make the letter to the recipient a little easier to read. Then what I'm going to do is place the pocket on the actual inside of the card, but I make sure to close it so I can line up where everything goes so the card opens freely. Now once that is in place, you have a couple different options. You can put your gift card on the inside just so they don't see the gift card till they open it. Or you can close your card and then slip it into the pocket so they can see it from the front. This will mean that they have to remove the gift card before they can open the card, but it adds a cute little touch I think. Here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this fun card with a little surprise using the latest Spellbinder Stitch Die of the Month. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.